Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out the software for the Razer Cobra mouse. This mouse is gonna have some features you can customize like shortcuts, macros, lighting, DPI sensors, all that fun stuff. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. All right, so once you actually install the Razer Synapsys software, this is gonna be the dashboard that you're greeted with. And basically this here is gonna be where you can customize the actual buttons on your mouse. So you're gonna be able to do your right click, your left click, your middle mouse scroll up, down, and actual click and then the two side buttons which is button five and button four now if we click something like the mouse button five by default it's going to be like back and forth on your keyboard number five is forward four is backwards but if you don't want these you can customize them to do things like key recordings this is going to be like all the alphabet or numbers you can assign to your mouse if you set this to be like the letter e and when i push e on my mouse it's going to go ahead and register the letter e so if i type e you can see right there then there there's function keys, which is like F1 through F24. Here you have modifiers and turbo mode. Modifiers are if you want it to like register the shift plus E click or control or alt. And then there's also enable turbo where when you press this button, it'll run that macro seven times, or you can do as much or as little as you want. Then there's gonna be things like number pad, which is your number pad controls, navigation keys, which is up, down, left, right, tab, space, delete, home, modifier keys, which are like shift, control, alt. Then there's gonna be symbols, which are the symbols on your keyboard. Now that's the keyboard functions. Now if we move to mouse functions, this is basically the same thing, except your typical mouse control buttons. So here we have sensitivity. This is where you can adjust the dpi you can do like go up you can set a stage for it to change you can do stage down you can do on the fly sensitivity you can do cycle stages and if you don't know what these stages are if you click on the performance tab here's the stages so if i press the top button the dpi switcher on my mouse here you can see that it switches between the different stages that's what that does. And that's how you control the sensitivity settings. Now, inner devices, if you have two Razer products, like a keyboard and a mouse, you can create one shortcut out of two products. So like shift on your keyboard plus mouse click, that would do a specific hotkey or command. Switch profile is gonna be straightforward. If you have multiple profiles, you can do that by adding one here, click add, and then you can see there's profile one and another one. And if I go back to the shift profile, you can see that I can cycle between next profile, previous, cycle up or down, and then you can also do just select a specific profile with one click. This is gonna be useful if you have multiple games or apps productivity apps that you use, you can quickly just jump to one without hopping in the software. Then there's gonna be switch lighting. This is gonna require the Chroma Studio and you can customize your lighting effects to the T. Razer Hyper Shift. This is pretty much gonna give you a second set of clickers on your mouse. So now you pretty much duplicated your mouse. So you can activate all of these by using shift or something like that. And that's gonna be pretty useful if you have a lot of keys and macros you wanna have control over. Launch program, straightforward. You just press this, click the folder and you can launch a specific app here you can do a website as well just paste the url in there and then whatever you have it assigned to will launch that website multimedia similar to the keyboard functions except this is more your media stuff like next mute pause play window shortcuts is going to be like your popular commands like launch calculator launch notepad paint copy paste refresh email all that fun stuff and then text function you can type in a text here and then when you press that key it's going to copy and paste that text you can also add in emojis as well as some of these symbols that you you normally can't type on your keyboard. Now hopping over to the performance tab. So here we can see the sensitivity, which is basically your DPI. I can toggle it by pushing the middle mouse button and switching between them on the fly. And you can adjust the actual speed over here. So maybe you want it to be faster or slower. You can do it right there. And that's just gonna be how sensitive your mouse is. I personally like it at 1600 for productivity and for gaming, I probably would like it a little slower because I want that precision. It just depends on your gaming style and your preference. And the max number Number of stages you can have is five you can go ahead and have two if you just like keeping things simple like fast mode is you know for one mode and then slow mode is if you're like doing something very sensitive that would be useful for something like if you're using a sniper you want your scope to be slower maybe and then when you're using like a machine gun or assault rifle you would probably want it to be on the stage two. So I'm gonna move mine back to five here. And then here you can see polling rate. This is gonna be how fast your mouse is, like how responsive it is. Um, I recommend just keeping it on a thousand. It's gonna act much faster and it's not gonna like skip any beats or anything like that. You can see that there's lights on the back, just the Razer logo here. 
And then on the side of the mouse, there's also gonna be a light there and you can customize how they actually look in the software. And what you can customize is here's some quick effects. You can just have it a static color, like I want it green only. You can see that it is only green right there. Or you can go ahead and do things like breathing and breathing. You can make it breathe from say green to blue. And if you look at the mouse right there, you can see it's green right now. And then it's gonna breathe right over to blue. So if you wanna play with the lighting effects, they're all over here. I'm just gonna keep mine on static for now, but there's also advanced effects that you can do with the Chroma Studio app, and that's gonna allow you to customize the mouse even further in greater detail. And then there's switch off lights. So basically if your screen turns off, your mouse will also turn off. Or you can make it, if you haven't touched the mouse for like 15 minutes, you can go ahead and have the lights sh shut off as well. And then the last tab over here is gonna be calibration. And basically if you have a special Razer mouse pad, you can go ahead and select one here and you can calibrate your mouse to the mouse pad that way it's just more configured for that type of surface i'm just going to do the default surface i think it works fine out of the box here so this is going to be a great mouse for some gamers out there who want to add shortcuts to their setup or if you want a quick dpi adjustment button for games where you're like sniper and machine gunning or whatever your play style is or if you're just trying to increase your productivity it's going to be a solid option if you want to see my dedicated review video on this the link to that is going to be right here and with that being said thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace